Jesus, lover of my soul. Jesus, I will never let you go. You've taken me from the miry clay. Put my feet up on the rock and now I know I love you, I love you, I need you. Do you know about that? That's Marilyn Manson, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old church songs. Uh, some people are going to be like, how you know that song? Uh, <laughs> you a heathen. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of uh, he, oh shit. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the No Chaser Podcast. I am Tim Chantarangsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. And I'm Nikki Blades. So, speaking of um, just being a heathen, mm-hmm. um, recently, bro, I got really, really drunk. <laughs> and I haven't been drunk the entire quarantine. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been sipping a little bit at dinner, a beer on occasion, just chilling, right? Mm-hmm. And so, I got so drunk a couple of days ago because um, I was I was uh, reviewing that Ludacris versus Nelly Instagram battle. Did you watch it? I did not. You didn't watch any of it? I did not. Why not? I give up on those things, man. It never works for me. Really? Never. Anytime I've tried, like as soon as I come in, it just gets choppy. I'm like, I'm doing this. Let me <laughs> let me leave this alone. <laughs> well, I mean, that's why I decided to go on IG Live because I was like, if people are having trouble watching this shit because it's maybe too crowded or whatever, or mm-hmm. well, I know that if you're not verified, you can't really even comment Like, because mm-hmm. all I see is verified people commenting. Yeah. So I was like, if y'all are trying to be engaged, have a conversation about this shit, come watch me. I'm going to react to it, right? Mm-hmm. And so I sat down to watch, um, poured myself a little drink. And then, because I, I, I just got a new bottle of Class A Azul, so I was like, let me just pour myself a little drink. We're going to watch. I put on a whole, like, I put on a, 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 a fitted cap, not even a snapback, <laughs> in, in honor of Nelly and Luda. And, um, and I was watching that shit, and it, it took, like, a whole hour for them to even get started. Oh, God. Because fucking Nelly's Wi-Fi kept fucking up. He said that there was Nelly, a, Nelly Riley. <laughs> N- Nelly Riley. He said there was a storm going on in St. Louis or wherever he was at, and like this shit was all bad, right? Yeah. So I'm sitting there, and I would pause it every once in a while just to kind of talk when they were getting their shit together. Ludacris's Wi-Fi was great, super yeah. clear, on point. He played "Welcome to Atlanta," mm-hmm. right? Started off with a banger. This mm-hmm. is this is when they first thought we were gonna get going, yeah. and then um, and and Nelly followed up with like a. I mean, I thought. Is this song in my head? <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, baby, you're a song, and you made me wanna roll my windows, windows down. down. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, actually, Nelly, Nelly played some shit off of um, the Country Grammar album, but it wasn't like a single. It was. Um, it, I forgot what song it was, but it was like I thought he was gonna clap back with the. If if Luda played Welcome to Atlanta, I thought he's gonna hit up with a you know down down baby yeah. right out the gate, but he didn't do that. So I was like, oh, point automatically goes to, to Ludacris, right? <laughs> yeah. But then it was a good hour until they 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 play they they could really get their shit going again. Yeah. So in total, dog, the whole live thing was three hours long. God damn. And I was steadily sipping through the whole <laughs> thing, and I put it to you like this, dog. Um, by by the time you get, because I'm I'm keeping score on a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. The 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 second half of the when I flip the paper over, I don't remember any of it. <laughs> and my 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 like my writing is getting like could like more and more just kind of scribbled, and yeah. I can't even make out. At one point, after move, bitch, I don't know what the fuck I'm writing down. <laughs> Hilarious. And so, um, I so I'm pretty turnt. And like I said, by the time I think Move Bitch played, I'm kind of, I don't really remember anything after that. Um, but here's what happened. And I'll mind you, this is daylight. The shit ended, because it doesn't get dark till like seven out here, okay? Yeah. So by the time this shit ended, the sun was still out. I woke up at 1 a.m. right here. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up at 12.30, 1 a.m., completely sober at this point. But literally like this, just... <laughs> Who am I? Because mind you, in my head, I went from being down there in the living room mm-hmm. listening to Ludacris and Nelly mm-hmm. to being here. <laughs> and it's night. 
<laughs> but, but there was a post of you down there passed out. No, no, no. That was right here. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was confused by that too. So it's funny because as soon as I woke up, I was like, ah, let me check Chia's story. Because I already knew it was going to be messy. So she took a picture of me knocked out there in my drawers with my hat still on and uh, just shaking her head. She was so mad, I bet. <laughs> she just, okay, look. The next day, I was like, babe, I wasn't too annoyed because she gets so annoyed because she says I get like kind of obnoxious when I'm drunk. She's Rick Jr. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I knew this time, you know, I was just kind of doing my thing down there. And then I came up here and probably just knocked out next to her, you know, uh, which is what happened. Mm -hmm. So I was completely sober at like 1 a.m., woke up, texted you actually because I knew you'd be up. And then um, went downstairs and. <laughs> and and I just like just beat off and fell asleep on the couch because I I knew if I crawled into bed I would be snoring so yeah. I didn't want to wake her up. But here's here's what's funny, right? She I'm thinking this was a real thought. The next day I was like, oh man, that's I mean that's dope. I didn't really eat anything that night. Like that you know did a little accidental intermittent fasting right yeah. there, right? And so <laughs> Chia tells me she's like, yeah, so. I asked you if you'd eaten anything and you said, yeah, you had some soup. She's like, I think you had a lot of soup because she had made a whole big ass pot of chicken soup that day. God. And she's like, yeah, if you look in there, there's uh, not a lot of it left. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're annoying. <laughs> oh, my God. That had to look hilarious, though. <laughs> Drunk ass just lapping up soup. Oh, dog. I wish I could have seen myself. Mind you, I've, n I've never gotten drunk by myself in my life. That was my first time ever. But that doesn't really count because I was with people on the Nah. <laughs> you was by yourself. <laughs> Great. Now he has a new thing. No. Well, maybe I'll do it again for another IG Live. I'm not going to get turned like that, though. Um, but I have it all. I saved the whole stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole IG Lives. I'm, I'm going to upload them and put them somewhere just because I kind of want to relive it myself, you know? Yeah. But uh, Luda killed him. Cause, yeah. I, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. He just, you know, and his, 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 his song selection wasn't nice. Nelly's song selection wasn't, wasn't wise. Yeah. Because um, I didn't really get to, you know, like I said, I don't really remember, but someone told me that towards the end, um, Luda played like a banger and Nelly played something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting interviewed by, uh, by Rob, mm -hmm. uh, South Star. And, um, and he was like, yeah, man, at some point Nelly put on this track and people were like, the fuck is Nelly trying to break a new record? <laughs> yeah. What is this? <laughs> So the only clip I've seen yeah. is that where Luda's like this, and Nelly's down there performing some shit. Ain't nobody ever heard of before. I'm like, yeah, what? Is, what is this? I was so uh, like one of the so Luda played Pussy Poppin'. This was mm -hmm. early on, and I was like, Nelly better fucking play Tip Drill. Yeah. Oh my god! And he did. Okay. And he did. And he did. And at one point, I think a highlight for me was I think Luda played. What's your fantasy? Mm -hmm. And then Nelly followed it up with um, it was a good one. It might have been EI or it might have been something. I had to give. I, I called it a draw. Yeah. Um, and but yeah, it was it was, it was fun. Those things are fun. It's, yeah. I wish I could just get a clear view of one. Yeah. Um, I also wish somebody could go against Missy. I feel like there's only two people that can go against Missy. Hit for hit. One would have been Luda mm. because they have a very similar, similar vibe. vibe. Yeah, so it would have been like, yeah. oh shit. And the other, it would be completely different vibes, but equal hits hmm. Chris Brown and Missy. That would be interesting. Yeah. But I hate to say this, I don't think there's a girl that could go against Missy. Um, I was going to ask you, well, as soon as you brought up Missy, I was like, when you said there's going to be two people, I was like, it there it's a guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said people. <laughs> and and not to shade um like Girls. like female like 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 female artists, yeah. but um I just don't see anybody in Missy's category that is on her level yeah. in terms of just hits and you know. Yeah. It would have to be completely different category. Like Beyonce could go hit for hit, right. but it's like two 
different vibes. Yeah, that wouldn't Most make sense. of the time, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. It would be interesting, but yeah. Um, Missy hard. Missy could win without playing any of the stuff she did for other people. <laughs> oh, production-wise? Yeah, yeah, production, writing. She just her song. She just her hit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me let me ask you something. So I got into this. Uh, I, I I didn't get into this debate, but I almost let this debate happen I, when I was on Kev and Doughboy's podcast. When I was on um, uh, Righteous and Ratchet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, Righteous and Ratchet. They uh, Doughboy brought up a point, and he gets dragged for this opinion. Mm-hmm. But I agree with him. Chris Brown Usher. No. 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 Okay. Because well, and partly because this comes down to uh, semantics mm-hmm. and your definition of certain terms, okay. Mm-hmm. But he was saying that in terms of bars, mm-hmm. Nikki over Missy, and and I was like, I agree, but bars, yeah, um, yeah, it comes down to your definition. But if we talking about like. Street bars, rap, just like straight rap bars. Yeah, make Nikki for sure. Yes, yeah, and a lot of people. <laughs> I said Mickey. <laughs> me, me, me. I just want to say Missy so bad. <laughs> See, a lot of people don't think of it like that. Like yeah. they want to say that when you say bars, you're just saying better, better, like musician. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's not how I see it. Like yeah. when you ask me that question, of course I think Missy is the better artist. Yeah, but in terms of like lyrics yeah, just, and wordplay yeah, which is Nick, what I consider as bars that I go for Nicki. Yeah. Nick man, Nicki Minaj is so good at rapping. And and <laughs> like, people forget. And people people forget or they want to just not acknowledge it. Um you heard this uh Say So remix? Um I haven't listened listened to it. Listen, listen to it, right? I only heard it once, mm-hmm. but I'm listening to Nicki Versa the whole time. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Like two bars after she say what she said, ah. I'll catch what was going on. I'm like, oh, shit. I can't remember any of it right now because I'm on the spot. But yeah. I was like, damn, that was tight. <laughs> like, but it was She's going. dope. Yeah. And I think she still writes all her own shit. Yeah. Credit, man. Yeah. Look, M- Missy can, M- Missy, the artistry of Missy is next level, yeah. right? Unorthodox, fucking genius with it, like all of it, right? All of like the, the production. Sing, the, rap, produce, right? All that shit, right? But um, have I ever heard a Missy bar that made me go, oh! Yeah. It's your different yep. When you played that in reverse, you definitely went, oh, shit. So for those of you who don't know, if you play that in reverse, it's it's just her saying, I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Yes, you're flip it, flip it, I remember being in high school, <laughs> and then fucking, and then Jeremy came up to me and he was like, you know, when Missy says, it's your flipping nipping rant yet, he's, she's saying, it's your, it's, it's your pussy if you something something. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. At all. That doesn't make sense, Jeremy. At all. How is it, how is the, what you say forwards gonna sound exactly. just like, yeah, I said backwards. Bruh, you remember when they was trying to say Jay-Z was a devil worshiper and shit? <laughs> Bruh, in a church, in a fucking church, this preacher played Lucifer backwards. <laughs> Lucifer is a Jay Z song. Lucifer right? in the morning. And they're playing it, and it's just. <laughs> and then it goes, murder, murder, Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking killing me? <laughs> it's, Leave niggas on death's door. <laughs> what? But I'm but like, that's in the, actual, that's in the song. That's All the of these sample. words. Yeah. <laughs> so in the song, Jay Z says, "Them a murder me, so I gotta murder them yeah. first. Doctors performing procedures, Jesus. Mm-hmm. So they took murder, murder, Jesus, and put it down there. He say, "I leave niggas on death's door," and they just put it in there. And this motherfucker had the whole church like, 
<laughs> oh my God, Jay Z is the devil. <laughs> so funny. Hey, hey, but real quick, real quick, real quick. You know, during this quarantine, I know y'all are listening to a lot of music, and uh, you need to listen to these podcasts to get through your day. Which is why you need some Raycon earbuds. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love them. I got like three pairs. They fit very comfortably in my ear. And you already know Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. And they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. And I'm speaking from experience, okay? Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds are their best ones yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. I really do like the bass in my earbuds. Raycon's wireless earbuds are so comfortable, perfect for conference calls or binging podcasts, okay? Unlike some of your other wireless options, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no dangling wires or stems to distract anyone during video calls. Pick up a pair and see what the hype is all about. And just for you guys, my No Chaser audience, guess what? I got a special deal. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash no chaser. That's buyraycon.com slash no chaser for 15% off Raycon wireless earbuds. Buyraycon.com slash no chaser. Yo, hey, Rick. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35, bro? And the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have some left, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you can get treated from home if you use Keeps. You used to have to go to the doctor's office for your hair loss prescription, but now thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get hair loss medication delivered right to your home. They make it easy and deliver your medication every three months so you can say goodbye to pharmacy checkout lines and awkward doctor visits, all right? Prevention is key, my guy. Keeps treatments can take up to four to six months or so to see results, so it's important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you'll save. Find out why Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors and nearly 100,000 men trust Keeps for their hair loss prevention medication. Keeps treatments start at just $10 a month. Plus, for a limited time, you can get your first month for free. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash no chaser to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash no chaser. One more time, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash no chaser. Chaser. Ugh, you know, it's like <laughs> old people, man. Old fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> They'll believe whatever they want to believe. Yeah. And it's crazy that we are, or we should be old people. We should be old people. I realized that talking to our friends who don't do what we do, we got people our age who are just old as fuck. Oh, I know. Gullible as shit, believe everything they see on the internet, yeah. can't tell a doctored video to save their lives. Oh, bro. Shit's hilarious. Isn't it crazy? It's so funny. Because like... And they dress weird. They dress so weird. <laughs> I look at people we went to high school with, same year graduates, and I'm looking like... What made you think this is okay? Yeah, and then they look at us like, you look like a little kid. Like, you look like us when we were little kids. At least I look like a current little kid, nigga. Goddamn. Middle. What is this shit? We don't do this no more, dumbass niggas. Okay, uh, 49ers jersey every time you got to dress up. Loser. Go straight down. Oh, God. Come on. With creases and shit. Jeez. <laughs> God. We're all talking. We're just talking about one guy. <laughs> I, I had one in mind. <laughs> That's funny. You know, and that, you know, it was so annoying too when I used to get comments, people that was like, man, it's, it's full. Tim is damn near however age and still dresses like he's in high school. I'm like, first of all, bro, I make YouTube videos for a living. <laughs> hey, what do you expect? Why would I ever have to or want to put on a dress shirt <laughs> yeah. to make a YouTube video. Yeah, what the fuck? Secondly, I pretend like I rap. <laughs> yeah. Secondly, I rap. It's like, as a rapper, I can dress like I'm in high school until I'm 80. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And high school kids dress like the adults they see on TV. So fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, buddy. Jeez. So, hey kids, <laughs> um, we were going back to the verses shit. Um, 
you know, so they saying, well, you just sent me a little thing that mm-hmm. said the next one might be DMX versus Eminem, yeah. which is crazy, which is, I feel like, makes sense. Uh, yeah. I feel like DMX will lose by default, depending on who's in the room, though. Mm. Because if you're a rap fan, mm-hmm. then you know DMX got some shit. Yeah. But there's a lot of Eminem fans who are not rap fans. Oh, they're, they're just Eminem, Eminem fans. fans. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Yeah. This is true. I mean, I mean, <coughs> that's the beauty of these things too. It's all kind of, uh, you know, it's all opinion. It's not like it's actually judged, which yeah. is which is fun. Um, and it all is kind of gonna come down to personal preference because they both have hits and hits yeah. and hits, you know. But it also comes down to. You know, which I learned from the Nelly versus Luda shit. What they play. Yeah, what they play against each other. Yeah. Because at one point, I think Luda played something, and then Nelly came out of nowhere with Pimp Juice. And I was like, oh, I really, <laughs> really like Pimp Juice. Point to Nelly. <laughs> um, so after you told me that it was going to be potentially Eminem and, and DMX for this next one, mm-hmm. I got hyped because, like, she loves Eminem. She loves DMX. Yeah. So she's chilling on the couch. I was like, baby. Guess what the next verses is going to be? Guess what it's going to be? Oh my God, you're going to be so hyped. These are like two of your favorites, right? So she's she's throwing out a bunch of people that she likes. I'm like, nah, think think like older, the shit we kind of came up on in high school, blah, blah, blah. So she's trying to think of the first person. <laughs> and my whole time I've dated Chia, like from, the, from when we met like damn near 10, 9, 10 years ago, she loved DMX, um, um, because the preacher telling the truth and it hurts. Y'all going to oh. make me lose my mind. Right, right, right. So that's her shit, right? And so I'm trying to get her to guess. I'm like, think of who, who always gets you hyped? Who gets you hyped? She goes, Shorty Low? <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh. I started cracking up. She was like, they know. They know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, she's hilarious on accident. <laughs> hey, wait, didn't Shelly Lowe pass? R.I.P. Yeah, Shelly Lowe. Yeah, R.I.P. Shelly Lowe. So, fuck. yeah. That's funny. I would have never <laughs> expected that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then I'm fucking, oh, so this is funny. So she finally guessed DMX after I gave her enough hints. I'm like, all right, now guess who he's going up against, right? I'm like, babe, okay. You love that you still laughing at Shorty Low. <laughs> I can't, I can't see Chia. Fucking okay. cleaning the bathroom. Just Dude, Shorty Low. let me tell you something, dog. So she's obsessed with like Three Six Mafia. Um, so funny. Like she loved their fucking reality <laughs> show, and so it's like a handful of cats that she just. It's like, oh shit, where did this come from? Yeah. You know, that's interesting. Um, so. She got DMX. I'm trying to get her to, to guess Eminem, right? Mm-hmm. I'm giving her some subtle. I'm like, all right, all right. Think, you know, someone you, you love this dude because she's always loved Eminem for as long as I knew. Yeah. M- more so because she thought he was cute. Like I'd be playing some like some 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 good Eminem shit, and she's like, oh, I don't know if I've ever heard this. I'm like, Come on, man. <laughs> she's just like, but he's so cute. Though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she, I'm trying to get her to guess. Rick was in the room. And uh, <laughs> I'm giving her hints, like, they think, think, like, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to do everything except say he's white, yeah. right? <laughs> but then Rick came with a genius hint. He was like, what did you say, Rick? <laughs> I just said pink, the color, not the artist. Pink. Okay, I'm going to let y'all marinate on that. Took me a couple seconds, but mind you, <laughs> me and Rick have known each other for a very, very long time, right? So I knew immediately what he meant by that. So... <laughs> So I'm giving her hands. I'm like, he, he raps. He made a movie. Uh, you like him? Uh, you know, uh, 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 I'm, I'm saying everything that I, I think that would get her there, but it just wasn't working. So finally, I'm like, okay. Speaking of pink, he, what he has that's pink, the rest of everybody you're naming, purplish. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so then so then she's like wait like penis i'm like yes yes something and she's about to get it she's yeah. like michael jackson <laughs> that shit killed me <laughs> like, 
Uh, yes, Michael Jackson, the rapper. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, babe, Eminem. She's like, ah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Michael Jackson is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, He's not going. Wait, she picked two dead people to do an Instagram live. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Also, <clears throat> I forgot to take my allergy medicine today. Oh. I'm about to be coughing up a storm. I've been holding it. Oh, it's cool. And I'm drinking very thick <clears throat> orange juice, so I'm Flemmy. Oh, great. I am Flemmy. Woo. <clears throat> it low. Or we both yeah. got the Rona. I'm down. <laughs> you sent me that <laughs> meme that was like black people feel like they already got the Rona. You've been saying that. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> sent it to me. <laughs> you. <laughs> but I mean, we're good. Yeah. <clears throat> Should be. Are you going to take the vaccine when they release the vaccine? No. Nah. I'm a little wary. Yeah, I'm cool. If I'm supposed to die from the Rona... <laughs> That I'm supposed to die from the Rona. But I don't think I'm going to die from the Rona. <clears throat> Maybe some pre-existing shit I got or something. I'm just, I'm ready to, I, I'm ready to travel again, bro. Like, I'm, yeah. I miss it. I, I just want other people to be able to make money <laughs> again. Yeah. Like, I, I've been pretty good doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't really go anywhere to begin with. Mm -hmm. I come here. I go to the grocery store. <clears throat> secret i see my girl every once in a while that's all i need <laughs> yeah but there's people out there that just broke. struggling yeah yeah so i would i would like for them to open up for them yeah i mean i agree it's like um i don't know if i said this last time but i've been i've been fighting you know i always have to check myself when i want to tweet about how much fun i'm having during the quarantine yeah. <laughs> because i realize i kind of i got influencer privilege right now yeah. during these times you know what i'm saying like i i don't have a regular job i don't need to go outside to work and and actually i'm still making money yeah. doing the youtube videos doing the podcast so it's like i'm having a good time just in the house with wifey watching netflix shows and shit you yeah. know um so every, like i think a couple times i want to tweet like man this quarantine is and i was like ah wait there are people that are really unemployed yeah. really behind on rent you know what i'm saying like shit's all bad the crazy part is I don't see a lot of those people complaining publicly. Mm. It's, it's the motherfuckers that just want to be able to go to the beach and get their nails done and the haircut and shit. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yo, fucking And they get relax. really mad. So mad. Like, really like, mad. So mad. I know a handful of people whose whole social media presence has changed to fucking activists anti-corona laws as pages and shit and i'm like why what do you need to do so bad yeah i'm gonna go to the beach <laughs> like get the fuck out of here i don't look and i really look i sympathize i know this is a weird time for everybody mm -hmm. i for the life of me dog do not understand why these old white people hate the thought of wearing a mask so much. Bruh. I don't get it. <laughs> I, I do not. They just don't like not being in control or feeling yes. like somebody has power over them or something. I don't know. I hate wearing the fucking mask. Right. It's hard to breathe in that shit <laughs> sometimes. And it's not really doing anything. Right. Shit can get through it. I can spit shit through it. <laughs> but it's just what you got to do for a little bit. <laughs> Just fucking put it on. Just when you're gonna be around some people, put the fucking mask. Like, and I and I can understand if if it was some like I don't know some shit you had to inject, yeah, or something. But bro, <laughs> it's a piece of cloth. <laughs> yeah, that's literally it. So fucking weird. And they be like trying to fight about yes. that shit, pulling out their camera, screaming at everybody. Bro, it was like in, not out here in L.A., but it was some state like. Somebody got shot. Some like a security guard got killed no, because he was trying to enforce a mask. Those was black people. <laughs> they was just, I don't know what the fuck they was on. They was man. Yeah, it was three three black people. I do believe all together. Wow. <laughs> it's like oh, fuck. You ain't putting on no mask. And then shot the nigga. Like, God, Wild. Man. Oh oh yes yes. That was at a dollar store. Yeah something. And like it was that. a family. Oh dollar store makes you remember as black people. Wow. <laughs> wow. But yeah, black people did that one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put that on the whites. <laughs> See, I'm equal opportunity over here. Equal hatred. <laughs> I don't hate. <laughs>
people other than white. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So, so who was it? Somebody somebody told me the other day, or I read something on Twitter the other day that was like such a good point. It was like, look, when you go to the beach and you go to the stores, they'll say, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Yeah. It's understood that you still got to put on some shoes to come in here. Yeah. And that's the same thing the grocery stores are doing. You got to put on a mask to fucking shop. That's it. Yeah. For the 40 minutes you're going to be in there. Yeah. And if this shit is real, <laughs> and if you have the right mask, it's for you. <laughs> it's helping you. <laughs> I don't get it. You see that TikTok everybody was mad at? Which one? The cereal boy. Which one? <laughs> uh... He had a tub of cereal. Oh, on the train? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck. idiot. Uh, I hate when shit like that is funny to me. Because it's so, like, why would you do this? But fuck, that's a funny visual. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah, I see it. It's so dumb. It's so stupid. It's I would have been really pissed off if I was on the train. Oh. But watching it, I'm like, me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's interesting because I've never seen such an overall anger like towards a tiktok before yeah. like that motherfuckers was mad about that shit like why why would you do it i don't get it i don't get I it i saw another tiktok the other day that people got kind of mad at <laughs> and it was a dude that um he 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 cut a hole in a pringles can <laughs> You see this one? Yeah. People were pissed at that. And uh, so if y'all don't know, this dude um, cut a hole in Pringles can, put his dick in it. But I think it was all staged anyways. Yeah. It's obviously staged. Um, his girlfriend, on the couch with him, she reaches in to grab some Pringles. And then, of course, his dick is out. And I, just, I, think, I think it was fake. And I think he faked it the wrong way. Because a lot of the outrage was like this is not consensual you're, yeah. you're making this girl touch a dick yeah. um and she was and, and in the tiktok she's she goes she goes Ugh! like she's disgusted by it and yeah. i think since i i i 90 think this was faked and staged yeah um i think like why not make her like laugh or or yeah. be or be like ha ha this is funny to me yeah. you know I think he was banking on the fact that it's like this is my girlfriend <laughs> She wouldn't actually be grossed out by my dick. But, yeah, you can't do those type of jokes I know. anymore. I know. Not, yeah. 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 But I get it, though, because there's some idiot out there who will see that and say, oh, my God, that's hilarious. And then try to do it for real. Yeah. With a actually with a non-consenting random, yeah. woman. And it could be a problem. So I get it. But, yeah. I don't know. You gotta. You really gotta watch what you do. Yeah. These days on the internets. <laughs> Here's a tip for you guys. Um, an innocent trick. If you're on a first date with a lady, have I told the popcorn trick on here before? Uh, on the podcast. Know. Okay. So, what I used to do when I would be on first dates uh, at the movies or something like that, you know, it's like high school shit. Mm -hmm. um, for all my high school viewers out there, or actually, if you're a grown ass man but you have the uh, comedic timing like a me and rick per se you can also pull this off so on a date with a lady um popcorn is you place the popcorn kind of in the middle right when you're watching the movie and then uh rick reach for the popcorn <laughs> you go oh oh my god so you kind of watch her in your peripherals and you kind of watch to see when she's gonna grab the popcorn and you go oh my oh damn we just we just had did we just have a moment and then then you can hold her hand easy Gets rid of all still, the awkward. Still unconsensual. <laughs> Is unconsensual a word? Not consensual. Not Fuck consensual. It. Uh, <clears throat> and then you go. Then then you guys can hold hands and it's cute and and then uh, then you make out. Let me tell you. One time I was in a a theater, not a movie theater. It was a theater to watch something. I forget what it was. Mm -hmm. And um, I invited a female friend with me, but she's just a friend. Never been anything more. Mm -hmm. She's never wanted to do anything more. Mm -hmm. But she has this weird thing about liking to play with the calluses on guys' hands. Mm. I did not know that before mm. this night. So we're watching, and she just like takes my hand and flips it over, starts doing this. And I was uncomfortable. Mm. <laughs> I was like, 
She didn't ask me. <laughs> she could just do this, whatever it is she's doing in my hand right now. Because we ain't get down like that mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, don't do the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a nice feeling. <laughs> After like a minute, it was cool. Though. <laughs> see? <laughs> I said, see, they get used to it. That's all I like. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I know, I know, I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the popcorn thing works. Um, <laughs> speaking of another time, we were in uh, watching a show and a funny thing happened. Um, so one time we went to go watch a, a John Legend concert. <laughs> and and um, so Rick, in the group of homies, Rick was at the end. And uh, so another man with his girlfriend came and sat next to Rick. Do you remember what he said to you, Rick? Uh, yeah, so... His girl was already there, and I was like, ooh. ooh, but there was a seat in between us, so I was like, huh, huh. and then this dude comes scrunching his way through, and it was like real tight in that shit, so he's all close to me, and then he gets past me, he sits down, he's kind of looking over at me, and he goes, damn, my nigga, you smell good. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like soap and shit. <laughs> Here's something you should know about Rick, uh, which I don't know how many of you have come to a meet and greet or got to meet Rick in person. He smells really good. Before I do things. So if you came to a meet and greet after a show and I wasn't smelling good, I ain't stink. <laughs> but if I was smelling good, that's why. But yeah, I pride myself on uh, being hygienic. He has a whole secret combination of scents that he does. I, not anymore. No? Those things I can't I can't find the pieces. So now, ah. so now I just struggle and try to figure shit out. Damn, well it was like it was like a parts of a lady cologne mixed with a man cologne. Mm -hmm. um, and a lotion. And a lotion. But it just hit right. It yeah, it was great. Overwhelming. Mixed with his like, I don't know, pH and his pheromones and shit. It was great. Yeah. Chia actually ruined that. Why? Because she gave me that uh, that citrus blossom hemp lotion. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, let me just fuck with this for a minute. And then by the time I got done with that, the other shit I used, I couldn't find it anymore. Mm. And then it just all went to hell after that. Blame Chia. Thanks a lot, Chia. Thanks a lot, mother. And now I can't find that lotion anymore either. Shorty lotion. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny um you know it's weird uh now i'm sure we've talked about this but it's, it's it's weird how you know there's a science behind people being attracted to the different just pheromones that your body gives off mm -hmm. and um i used to mess with a lady who um i'm sure i've talked about this but i used to mess with a lady who she liked just my natural must yeah. and how that smelled and like whenever we would hang out let's say i would you know uh be getting off work at fucking Foot Locker or whatever and she'd be like don't shower before we hang out don't shower she's like i want to like smell your funk you know what i'm saying and we would kick it we would be laid up or whatever and she would be like putting her nose in my armpits like <sighs> <sighs> She just loved it. I think I think it was a, a mix of my deodorant mixed with my must of working a little bit. Yeah. You know? That I be I struggle with calling people weird. I be trying not to call people weird for the shit they like. Mm -hmm. But shit like that is weird. <laughs> not because she likes it, but because she lets it be known. Mm. And she's so overzealous with it. Don't fucking shout. <laughs> yeah, and like who <laughs> When I when a girl smells good, yeah. I don't fucking sniff the shit out of her. <laughs> I just enjoy the smell while it's there. Girls can get away with shit like that without coming off creepy, though. Because dudes want to fuck. <laughs> 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 that's, that's it. If you don't want to smash that, think think about it. A girl you genuinely don't want to smash does that to you. You are a hundred percent correct. <laughs> you are a hundred percent right. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, if you do want to smash. She can do damn near anything, and it's like she is quirky. Pretty much, she is adorable. Like that type of shit is the shit I used to do on purpose to uh, creep a girl out to be funny. Mm -hmm. Like when I used to fucking poke their armpits and shit like yes. that. Yeah, you got me doing that. Yeah, but it was like I'm about to creep this girl out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it was the point of doing that shit. Mm. 
Hmm. <sighs> Weird ass, <laughs> sniffy ass girls. Man, I, it's it's crazy how um, you know, being attractive to somebody or not being attracted to somebody really can um mm-hmm. make you judge things differently. Yeah. You know, because I remember um. There were girls I've known in the past where, you know, maybe in the beginning of the courtship, um, I'm like, wow, I'm really attracted to this person. And you kind of, you don't notice all the annoying shit they Mm -hmm. do, right? And then, and then they might say something that kind of, kind of pulls you out of it. Like, uh, I got like that one girl, I'm not going to say no names, of course, (laughs) but (laughs) I was I was out with this one girl one time, and uh, it was like a kind of a group setting. Rick was there. We're all just kind of eating, chilling. Uh, and then uh, she whoops out her phone and was like going through pictures of herself and was like, I'm so photogenic. And I was like, I hate this girl now. I am completely turned off. <laughs> Wait, is this what I think it is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she watches. <laughs> she does. <laughs> well, I, hey, look. No, no, no. no. In her defense, she knows <laughs> she was a shit bag back then. <laughs> I actually told her recently yeah. I was going to tell the story about what made me hate her <laughs> on this podcast. <clears throat> I think it was the same night. <laughs> I, well, 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 hey, we already talked. Look, okay, look, we're cool. We're cool. I don't hate you now. I never actually hated you. But let me tell you, that night was a turning point. That one statement made me go, mm. Oh, that's so funny. Well, shit. Okay, so, so me and that girl, yeah. we're like friends now. Well, we've been friends this whole time. Mm. But I definitely hated her. <laughs> That night, I don't even know how we ended up being all three there. friends. No, oh, after you and her. this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, after this, like I don't even remember how that happened, but like she ended up being like a real ass friend and shit, right? But this fucking night, oh my god, oh, I'm so glad I get to tell the story now. <laughs> so, I mean, and just just to just to set this up, we're, we're, you know, this is a long time ago. We're, long, long ass. You know, we're young, girl. Yeah. Um, I don't even think we were 21 yet. Probably not. Yeah. And you know how it is when you're hanging out with new people, maybe for whatever reason, you're trying to put on, you're trying to be cool, you're trying to act, whatever, whatever. So, all right. So, I'm at Tim's house. I think we were shooting a skit or some shit like that. Or we were doing something. I don't remember. But I'm at Tim's house. Um, But with the understanding that a lady was coming over later and I would dip, right? Mm. I do believe she came earlier than she was supposed to or something. So it ended up us all being there. I had to finish something before I dipped, Mm -hmm. whatever. But she was cool for the most part. So I finished my shit. I'm like, all right, son, I'm out. And then she says, you're not going to come to dinner with us, (laughs) right? So I look at Tim like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm cool. I'm going to dip. And she reiterated, come on. Three times <laughs> she asked me to go to dinner with them. So now it's getting awkward. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be like, bitch, no. Yeah. <laughs> Tim can't be like, it's supposed to just be me and you. So right. we both kind of looking at each other like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so I fucking go to dinner with them, right? <laughs> we get to this spot. They're sitting on this side of the booth. I'm over here and shit. She does that fucking <laughs> I'm so photogenic shit. <laughs> and we're both kind of like. Uh, <laughs> rolling our eyes, right? <laughs> and then she asked me, she's like, can I ask you something? I was like, what's up? She's like, you don't feel, you don't feel weird just being a third wheel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, excuse me? She's like, I mean, yeah, like, we were supposed to have dinner, but you're just here. Oh like, my God. <laughs> you, <sighs> okay. <laughs> I didn't say shit else that entire night. I was so fucking mad. And to this day, she cannot explain why she did that shit. She's, I don't know, man. I was just young and stupid. Like, ugh. 
oh, I don't understand how you don't still hate me. I was like, I, I don't either. I don't <laughs> understand either. That is the weirdest shit any girl has ever done, ever. We're cool, though. Yeah. I mean, I don't like talk to her anymore. But. <laughs> um, we, we haven't talked for a long time, but here recently, um, she's hit me up just on some like catching up homie shit. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, That's funny. I tell you, I tell you, that was one of those days where I was like, "All right, well, <laughs> I could, uh, I could, I could never see you again." <laughs> so funny. I don't think you have after that. You may have seen her no, because we, she came. Oh, we, we 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 kicked it. I think maybe a couple more times after that because that was the first time, my first time kicking with her. Was it? I think so. I think so. Okay, so I definitely kicked it with her after uh, that. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, but then like you probably saw her in Vegas, because one time she moved to Vegas and she came to the club with us. Mm. Yeah, it was there, me, you, Julian, Jr., her and her white homegirl. Mm, don't even remember that. Um, and then again in San Diego, we did a show and she came to the show. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Fucking funny, man. Shout out to you, girl. Uh, <laughs> but but the point is, um. You know, what I was saying, oh yeah, back to what I was saying is that like, you can, you can kind of phase all that shit out when you really think she's cute or you think, you know, uh, she might want to do some canoodling later. Yeah. And then, and look, and, and, and there, of course there have been times I feel like uh, where you got the blinders on and then you finish canoodling with somebody and then the blinders are off. And then you sitting, you laying next to somebody like, God, you're annoying. Yeah. What why didn't I see this? And it's cause like, man, you you get your horns start to cloud your brain, and then you start you look and then you realize you are really just uh, an insufferable person. <laughs> Yeah, I did a video about this, remember? And I'm so mad because I sucked a toe for this video. Oh, God. And I kissed a girl with, with a, a fake, fake mustache, mustache <laughs> but a realistic ass fake mustache. <laughs> and it did not get as many views as the video before that. I was so annoyed. Um, but also, <laughs> the girl we talked about, just, this is just funny to me. <laughs> she was like, when am I going to get to meet your girl? I was like, um... Whatever you're back out here, but in the back of my head, I was like, Toy probably go hate her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. She she probably won't. She probably won't. <laughs> All new people stay away from around me. Um here's the thing. People people will always hit me on some. When am I gonna get to meet Chia? When am I gonna get to meet your wife? And I'm talking about these are people that I don't hang out with. Yeah, but you haven't even met new me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look, and for the longest time, bro, when I was um doing the long distance shit with Chia, I'm talking about after years, she had probably only met you, maybe Eric. Yeah. Because through all the flying back and forth, when we're here, when she's in LA, I wasn't trying to be like, let's go on a fucking group outing. Yeah. I'm like, let me, let's enjoy our time together, right? Yeah. And so, but people that, well, you know, were acquaintances hit me on some, hey, all right, well, hey, next time you and Chia and some Chia in town, let's do, let's, let's hang out, let's do a little, like, get some drinks. I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't even, we don't even talk. We That's not, funny. we're not. You might think we're friends. And yeah. That sounds fucked up to say. No, it's terrible. But it's <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay, so here's something I noticed about your life for a long time. Mm. Because of who you are, there are a ton of people who, A, find you important in their life. Mm. B, have convinced themselves that it's mutual. <laughs> <laughs> and it cracks me the fuck up, dude. Like... On every level, there will be there will be situations where, like, may, let's say we're at a event and there's an after party or some shit, right? Mm -hmm. And there will be that one person who's kind of connected to the planning of the event or some shit. They're in our section, yeah, and they might say something to you, and you'll be nice and cordial, uh, whatever, yeah. And then they'll talk to me and they'll fucking trap me into a conversation <laughs> all night, right? But <clears throat> they're actually cool, yeah. 
I would I'll keep in touch. Whatever. Like mm-hmm. you're you're cool enough for me to respond to later on social media. Right. But they'll hang on to that one thing they said to you <laughs> and in their head, oh yeah, I was talking to Rick and Tim all night mm-hmm. when they didn't say shit to you. And then later they'll be inviting us to things <laughs> as if you know who the hell they are. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Ugh. Hey, yeah, so um, my baby shower is uh, uh, you and Tim. I'm like, why the fuck is Tim going to come to your baby shower? <laughs> you said two words to that man. But in their head, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It was like, I had a moment with Timothy De La Ghetto, and now we're cool. Oh, God. <laughs> and look, man, here, here's the thing. P- people, people take it the wrong way when I say I, I don't fuck with new people. Mm. But like, but they'll, they'll love singing it when Drake says it, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> when I'm when I'm living this no new friends life, they want to look at me like I'm an asshole. Yeah. But like, the thing about it is, especially when you get older, you kind of start to prioritize who you give your time to yeah. and your energy to. And um, and I'm not saying I'm against meeting people or or like or or getting to know people. But but when I look when I haven't seen my bestest friends in like a month, yeah. when I haven't seen Eric, when I ain't seen Peter. Um, when I ain't seen you, it's like, why am I going to go out of my way to schedule new friend time with yeah. new people that I don't know? It just doesn't make sense, you know? Yeah. And people really take that the wrong way. They trying to like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Let's hit me up. Get, let's get together. I'm like, for what? Yeah. For what, though? And doing this shit, it's hard to know who's trying to be a friend for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And most of the times, like, the friendship doesn't start like that. Right. <laughs> It just kind of happens. She just happens. You kind of are in the same place. Yes. Yada, yada, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, there's people who want to network mm-hmm. and call it friendship yeah, exactly. <laughs> and shit. People, yeah, we should hang out sometime. Maybe shoot something. What? No, that's not what I do with my friends. Right. Well, I do do that with my friends. But because <laughs> that's because we're, we're friends. Dope, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're friends. But I'm like, why, why would I do that? Right. So, yeah, you have, when you do shit like this, you really have to be concerned with mm-hmm. who you let in because you never know why somebody's trying to be around like like for example exactly what you said like it's not a lot of uh i feel new friends i've let into like what i would call like my my, my first tier of, of friends in the past however many years mm-hmm. right um so i feel like you know of course to my to my core click you eric peter wifey right yeah. um and then outside of that I got like the people I met through YouTube who I consider friends, Andrew, JR, um, uh, fucking Benji. Yeah. Uh, and it's like. There's more of you, don't there, There's attitude, more, please. Not, I, I can't yeah, answer all. I, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, but there's not a lot of people that you, you, you meet that are new that you would consider, I'm bringing these people into my friends, right? But then you got like people like um, Bart and Gio, who I shoot so much JK news with. And then it kind of turns it turns into like we get along really well while we're working together. Yeah. Um, let's hang out and it's cool. And now and now like you know they invite me over for fucking game nights or whatever. And like yeah. I would invite them over too. Like me and David were always cool. We got along. Um, and when I invited him to do that one episode of Send Foods with me, because he yeah. was only supposed to be on one episode. Yeah, it was supposed to be a different person every time. Yeah, yeah. and people were like, oh, keep bringing David back. I was like, sure, it was a good episode. It was funny. Yeah. Let's keep doing that. Through that, we got really close. Yeah. And like, I consider him one of like a close homie now, you yeah. know? And that, that just kind of happens organically. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, like, it's levels. It's no offense to anybody, but it's fucking levels. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, like the people you just mentioned, I'm pretty sure... A invite would go to David before Bart and Gio, just based off of time spent, closeness, mm-hmm. and similarities. Mm-hmm. That has nothing bad to say about Bart and Gio. Bart and Gio are fucking dope. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But on the flip side, an invite would go to Joe and uh, Tiff and Casey mm-hmm. before you from Bart and Gio. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, but. Y'all still friends? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And check this out. To all you motherfucking <laughs> people in my contact list that are mad that we not going on double dates. <laughs> if I throw a party, y'all are getting invited. Yeah. <laughs> like when I threw that birthday party a few years ago, where like I had to fill like 200 people. At first I was like, ah, damn. Uh, am I going to need this many of a list? Yeah. And then it was like, 
But then I was able to be like, you know what? I'm, I do fuck with this with these people. I got fuck with y'all. Y'all yeah. can come party with me. Yeah. But am I? Are we going on double dates? No. No. Are you just gonna sit in my house and do nothing? No. No. Like Rick can come sit in my house and do nothing. He actually might be doing nothing in my house today when I'm not in it mm-hmm. for different reasons. <laughs> um, but for example, let me say something. Okay, I'm super cool with Phil from Wong Fu Productions, mm-hmm. right? Phil, um, you know, he was invited to my wedding. Yeah. This was a that was a very short list of people. But Phil got invited to my wedding. Didn't give him a plus one, but he came to my <laughs> wedding. Now, ruined his relationship. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that brings me to this. He has been with a lady. He's now engaged, mm-hmm. and he was like. Bro, let me know um, whenever you and she are down to go on like a a double date. You know, like me and my chick would love to, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, check it out. Here's the thing. (laughs) So I don't want to just force our ladies, especially my lady, into a we have to socialize situation. I was like, here's what we do, dog. If they meet in at an event where there's a lot of people and there's no pressure and they happen to get along, then we can double date. Yeah. But I'm not about, but I don't want to be like, let's, y'all be yeah. friends, let's double date. That, it's just not what you do. It's not what most of us do. I feel like planning that shit is kind of weird. Because you got to think about it. Like, all of the things we've been to, like me, you, Tway, Chia, mm-hmm. it has been either like an event that both you and Tway got invited to with me and Chia are plus ones mm-hmm. or some shit. Or one of us had an invite and we could bring as many people mm-hmm. as we want. It's never really just been, what are you guys doing Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat? You know what right. I mean? Like, that's probably happened once. It's probably happened once. Uh, close to that was, what, New Year's or some shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, true, yeah, yeah. True. But for the most part, that's just not how it goes down. But here's the thing, though. But, like, I'm at a level with y'all now where it's like, Tway and Chia could just, you know, it's like, they, now they we're there. set up today without us. Yeah. yeah. They're, well, they're, they're chilling downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel like, look, man, that shit just has to happen organically. Like, y'all trying to force shit out here and then get mad when it doesn't get forced the way you want it to. Yeah. It's, 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 it's annoying. You know what's the worst? Mm. Like the worst. Even at this point where it doesn't matter, Mm. the girl that you used to try to smash hitting you with the, I want you to meet my boyfriend. Out of nowhere. (laughs) Yeah, like, we're coming down. You should meet him. Like, nigga, I haven't seen you in three years. (laughs) Why do I want to go out of my way to meet you and your fucking boyfriend at... Popcornopolis or some shit. It's so weird. You know what's funny? Is I know who you're talking about. <laughs> and she's trying to in, in, introduce her boyfriend to Chia. Yeah. They're not even friends. It's so <laughs> fucking weird. I don't get it. I don't get it. And not even just the girl that you used to try to smash. Yeah. Any girl that you don't kick it with right. on a regular basis. Yeah. You don't even live here. You are flying to here and telling me I need to meet your boyfriend for what? It just it, it's so strange. What does he say when you're saying that shit? Cause he has it. Well who is this guy? Oh um a guy I met at an event two years ago yeah. who still likes my picture sometimes. Like <laughs> what why does he need to be us? Why is it so important? <laughs> I don't get it. People so strange, man. Well, all right, y'all. Thank you for watching this episode of the No Chaser Mook podcast. Mukbang. <laughs> ah, yeah, no, nah, no. They're going to love this one. They're going to love this one. Um, let us know in the comments what city we should go to next uh, for your next food festival, and we might just show up. No, that's from Send Foods. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, hope you guys are staying safe. And... Uh, sanitized and all that. I'm Tim Chantharangsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. And I'm Nicky Blade. Bye.